Now that I've brought it down for my physique, so people have been asking where have I been, and rightly so, because I haven't really made any proper videos for like five months. In fact, the, the last video I did was the small of routine that I was doing, and I just pretty much started putting out like live sessions. Um, well, I'm back now, and I'm going to explain where I've been and what I've been up to. Um, mainly, it was about eight months ago, if you remember when I went for that deadlift PR, um, I ended up hurting my hamstring. And I got a little bit down in the dumps, but then I found that I could just keep squatting, so that's what I did. I ended up doing small of all the time. Um, and I I think, if I remember right, I, I was trying to max out, and that didn't go so well. I didn't get a PR, I just got absolutely pulverised by 205 kilos, and it kind of put me down in the dumps. And it was around about that time that my my, my, my mate, uh, he he's the one who had the uh, kidney problems, he... Um, he was feeling a bit better in himself and he said he wanted to start doing stuff again you know and he said that we always used to train together and and that we should maybe look into doing that again now he's been to my home gym and he he doesn't really like it so i said to him well we'll find a gym in the area we'll sign up and we'll start going um we signed up to uh jd gyms it was a it's a new chain of gyms um it was quite smart it seemed fairly tidy modern decent enough uh, they had decent kits so I thought why not let's go for that it was, it's about £15 a month something like that uh, so we started going there and I c could slowly feel us slipping back into the um, the old routine that we used to do like the old bro split I mean I kept doing my my squats my deadlifts and my bench um, which is quite funny because with me training in the home gym for so long even though my lifts are not amazing when you compare them to, to a lot of people at the gym, they're, they're way above average, you know? So it's like, you get a lot of people watching what you're doing and staring, which is something I'm not used to, to be fair, but I see you soon get around to it. But people have been coming up to me and asking me stuff and I just talk to them as normal and, you know, you, you just uh, dish out advice when it's asked, you know what I mean? But anyway, get back to that. So anyway, we started doing like the bro split again. And the problem, what I mean there is that we would do the normal stuff like you're benching that but then we'd do loads more things like so you'd be jumping on every single different type of machine and you're just doing too much unnecessary work and then basically I've started to find that my my, uh, my strength levels have started to dwindle off um, uh, I'm not really making any progress so that started to get me down in the dumps anyway I um, I carried on I've been still going to the gym with him but I've decided now that I'm going to split my training between here and the gym. I'm going to do bench at the gym with him sometimes, uh, just because it's easy to spot. Um, they don't really have a, like a proper squat rack there, so it's it's not really safe. I don't think. Um, I don't find that I could push myself hard enough, you know, because I always think that well, if I'm going to bin it, it's going to end up on the floor. Everybody's going to look and be like, oh my god, look at him, and, uh, and I can't be doing with that, you know what I mean? Because then I'd have to pick it all up and get it back up. But on on the squat rack, it's it's easy enough, and you feel safer. Um, deadlift is good there because they do actually have a deadlift platform they've got a deadlift bar which is a hell of a lot easier than using this uh, power bar that I've got um, the the flexibility just it just makes it so much easier to pick stuff up uh, for example I mean I did 200 kilos for five uh, and it was easy um, I've not tried to uh, to pull a PR because obviously after I get after, after I get after over a certain amount of weight my hamstring starts playing up causing me pain and it's like oh god not again but I've, I've I've sort of found all the triggers that I'm just trying to work through them I can't really I'm just using my hand and I can't really place enough pressure on it I tried to get my wife to um to uh, help but she's she's not strong enough to apply any pressure and yeah that leads me on to another thing I say my wife because I am now married um, we got married in August. It was a it was a brilliant day, really good laugh. Um, and then we went straight off on our honeymoon. We went to New York and Las Vegas, and then we finished it off in Cancun in Mexico. It was a really good time. Uh, I tell you now, the uh, New York and Las Vegas have really, really blown up in price in in respect to like what things cost. I um, we took a fair a fair few dollars with us and to be honest it, it, it wasn't enough uh, not compared to how like Las Vegas was in the past it, it was a lot cheaper but it was a lot more expensive now um, so yeah that kind of uh, put a bit of a down on things also I lost a ton of money which that wasn't great either but never mind 
Um, also, yeah, just to prove how much of a, a manlet I am, uh, I'm going to show you this picture from my wedding so you can really see the proof that I am an ultimate manlet and there you go. Um, yeah, what else have I done in the past few years? I bought a, a, a motorbike, I've I tripped myself to a Harley Davidson Sportster, uh, it's the 883 Iron, I know it's a girl's bike, but to be fair, I needed some of that fit in here, I wouldn't take up too much space and the, the bigger bikes, um, the bigger cruisers, uh, not necessarily Harleys, but they're just too, too take up too much space for, um, but this one just fits nicely in between um, uh, where I've got my glute arm raise and stuff like that, so it's, it's spot on, it doesn't take up any space you know, that I, I need to use, so it's good and, and I've enjoyed riding it, um, I'm looking at getting like a, a GoPro or something like that and they might be uh, some extra videos I'll put in. It'd be a different spin on the old uh, talking bollocks on the bike because it will still be on a bike. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna look into doing that, and uh, it'll be it'll be good to just go for rides and show you like the the area around here. I mean, Yorkshire has got very nice countryside, great roads, so just stuff like that. But back to the channel. What I'm planning to do is keep up the footage. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing um, what I'm gonna be calling gym shorts. Just really short little training videos show you what weights I'm doing um, had no commentary just keep them short like a minute minute and a half max um, I'm going to start doing more cooking videos again because I kept saying that I was going to bang out more recipes and I just didn't get around to doing it I was just too busy you know And um, but I will start doing that uh, reviews as well I'm going to be doing more reviews again on the channel everybody used to so good positive response from my reviews so I'll start doing that um, try and get some more live uh, live feeds in now and again I've uh, tried to improve the quality of my connection out here uh, with a, a range extender so we'll see how that fares um, but yeah that's pretty much it I'm also going to be doing some more informative videos you know obviously there's a lot of them on the vid on, on the YouTube already but I found that all the people that are messaging me especially beginners that are just starting out training they're asking me questions that uh, they are really easy to answer but they require me to write out a lot of spiel and I, I found that I don't actually have a video to give them simply because to me I just think well it's just common sense but I understand that a lot of people don't know these things it's like people send, send questions saying what what kind of food should I eat you know just basic stuff like that so I'm going to do a video just showing the type of protein, type of carbs, type of fats, all the my type of food choices. Obviously, I follow if it fits your macros, um, but there are certain foods that I tend to eat and some that I try to 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 avoid just because of like the nutritional value. You know what I mean? But just stuff like that. Um, so yeah, without rambling on too much because I already have. That's it. Um, there you go. I'm back. I hope you've all missed me, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers now. Thank <laughs> you.